Hey guys, welcome back. Man, January of 2020, I sat down right here, right here. Used to be a CNC machine right here, all in the way. I sat down right there and I decided I was going to make a, a YouTube channel. I was going to, <laughs> I was going to do, I was going to start building model cars on YouTube and it is so comical. Honestly, it's, it's funny now that I look back because I was like, I had a, not a clue. I mean, I could build something, uh, not so great, but just didn't have a clue. And, um, it's come a long way. So this coming January of 24 will be four years, which honestly, it seems longer than that. It seems longer than that, not because it was bad. It seems longer than that because so much has happened and so many great things have happened. And I just, it's, I just, how far it feels like I've come from that start. And I'm holding that very first model kit that I built, this 71 Ford pickup truck, and I built it as a replica of the Ford truck that I had. I don't have it anymore. I sold it to a friend of mine. He actually makes music videos. And um, he bar he would borrow my truck. He loved it. He's kind of a, uh, I don't know how to describe his music exactly, but he, uh, he liked to make those videos and pretty professional videos, but he would use my truck. And uh, he said, if you ever decide to sell it, Matthew, let me know. So when I said, you know what, the truck's just sitting here. I'm not ever using it. I called him or texting and he absolutely so it's gone but what I have is that and that is that is my rendition of that truck and I got it was pretty close other than the mirrors were different style mirrors it is it is almost dead on um, and it had a toolbox in the back but yeah I mean I don't think I could have gotten any closer with the little in with the little experience that I had funny thing is I think I'm pretty sure this is my very first model build on the channel and it was a we weathering tutorial <laughs> I'd never done it before um, no I take that back it wasn't because I built my uh, 53 Ford pickup up there I did that can you see is it right yeah it's this one right here that 53 Ford pickup I've taken it to some shows I think it's cool looking so anyway that actually was my, I did not have the channel at the time so I did have a little experience, but I was going to show you guys how to do a weathering job. But honestly, it didn't turn out too bad because I was intentionally doing it in the places where the truck had rust. But yeah, it turned out good. But wow, how far, how far I've come in uh, friendships, experience, growth of the YouTube channel. And uh, it's all because of you guys. And I just want to reminisce. I want to go back to that video and let you guys see that. So, uh, most of you guys probably have not seen the vast majority of my videos. If you're a new subscriber, I mean, you probably don't go back and watch all the old videos. Um, you just start from where you're at now and move forward. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna, we're going to go back and we're going to watch this. And uh, you can see that I've, I've come a long way uh, in, in everything. The bench looks a lot more neat and organized and clean. Why? There wasn't near as much stuff in here. I mean, it was, there was, other than this side of the, this, none of this existed up here because there was a big giant CNC machine here. And, uh, but my little workspace was here and there's a lot more stuff. And now I've got the work there, I work here, I work over here. And, uh, yeah, just good times. It is, it was a good time. I'm glad I did it. And, uh, let's go, let's, let's travel back in time. And, uh, see if see if I can make myself laugh all right it'll be the second part I think it was two parts of this video it'll be the final so we'll watch that all right guys hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll see you real soon take care Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to share this model with you. Um, this is a friend of mine actually bought this for, for uh, gave it to me for Christmas. 
It's uh, Moebus 1971 Ford F100. And I actually have a 1971 uh, F 100 long wheelbase exactly like this. It's, and I'm what I'm doing with this model is I'm going to try and replicate my truck, which I'll show you a picture of. And uh, try to make it look just like it. So I'm going to this kit. I'll be going as I'm, I'm already I've already started this kit. Um, I'm already trying to get it painted somewhat close to, to my truck, but I want to replicate it and do some weathering. Um, weathering a kit is, is a lot of fun to me. I have one here I'll show you that I've already done before. This kit was a 1953 uh, Ford. Uh, so weathering is, is you, you layer the paint. So when you take a... I think I used a thousand grit. Uh, you, you, your first coat is you're going to be your rust color. So you're going to put down your rust color, and then you're going to paint it with whatever you know color the, the paint job may have been. And once you sand, once you sand that layer off, it gives the appearance of the first layer, the blue here. It gives the appearance that, that the paint has worn off and there is there's rust. So it's just a weathering technique. It's a lot of fun. Um, one reason it's a lot of fun because you, you don't have to make the you don't have to make the truck or the car look look perfect. You can you can make it. You know, it's it's a lot of fun because you can make it look old and weather it up, dust it up. Um, the back of the truck and on this particular one is really just dirty. It's nasty. There's the spare tire, but on the on the Ford, my Ford, this is as close to the green color as I could get. Uh, I mixed a few colors. Wanted it to be flat because the color of my truck is is just completely the paint is shot and uh, so many rust places and primer shots and stuff. So what we'll do is we'll go through and uh, on the areas where there'll be uh, the, 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 the rust would show through. I'll just go through here and lightly sand because under this. Under this green, I have already sprayed a a red primer, uh, pretty close to rust, I guess, you, as you could get. The back of this truck is going to be black, so I didn't paint the entire the back engine. of it black, which I haven't weathered the engine yet. Um, I just gave it a normal paint job, and I, I'll I'll pre I'll go ahead and assemble the whole thing, and then after that, I will I'll come in and weather it with with uh, rust and some of the uh, panel line accent color just anything to, to give the appearance of shadows and grime and grease and um, I, I added these spark plug wires I, I like to do spark plug wires but I was trying something new I don't know if they're gonna work or not it's uh, this I bought it from Hobby Lobby it's a stretch magic it's just a rubber it's a small Tiny little rubber uh, string, and I thought, well, that will look good, black, you know. But what's happening, I've noticed, is because it's not wire, I'm going to have a tough time getting these to lay down and look real, because the appearance of your 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 wires having sags and bends is very important for realistic, you know, to make it look realistic. And this, I think they're going. I'm probably going to have to take the distributor back off. And, and try to put probably put the wire. I have the, you know, the the little yellow, red, black wires, and I just wanted to try this rubber stuff, and I don't think it's going to work. I've already drilled my my cylinder heads, if you can see. I don't know if you can or not. I've already drilled where the spark plug holes are. I take my little pin vise and drill those out, as well as that's how I did my distributor. I, I chop off the the little knobs that the uh, and plug wires would it would appear they would hook to it. I just drill eight holes and glue those in there. But I'll I'll weather this up, get it mounted in, in the interior as well. Turns out I'm gonna try. All right, so I'm gonna try to do a little bit of weathering on on this uh, on my model. I've got let's see, one thousand wet sandpaper folded in half and a bucket of water. Um, 
you can't sand too much once you start seeing where it's rusty you you'd better you'd better stop sanding in that area because what you'll do is you'll you'll go on through the primer as well but with wet uh with water it's gonna it's gonna help to not not eat it up quite as bad so just dip the body and get it wet and then so wherever you want it to let's see how this works yeah this may be may need 1500 grit because when you start going at it it will on the corners especially oh boy it will go right through okay so i've got the well at least started on it the weathering um, got the hood i got a little far on the hood Hood got a little deep but i can correct that with the uh, and i'll show you in this video how to correct that if you get down to the paint i just went ahead and said to heck with it i just went and got uh went ahead and got it out you know the body the roof the so I just, you know, you just want it to look somewhat natural. And when you blend it with the, uh, with the kit, let me find that kit. Where is it? I have it. I can show you what it looks like. Here it is. It's a kit. It looks like a makeup. Let's, uh, let's see. Tamiya. Do this one handed. It comes with just a, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you. So it comes with this little applicator. Take that. It's just like a makeup brush. Don't let your kid, your daughters get it. They'll put on rust colored makeup. All right, so and then you just take that and you just you go over it and you blend it. And blip. Well, you can't see, but believe it or not, it will blend in real well. And 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 we'll I'll get, I'll show you more about that. But what I noticed about this. Um, this kit is the hood is not fitting right it's warped so I'm like what in the world so I'm gonna heat the hood and I'm gonna see if I can get this get it straightened up all right so I've got a heat gun oh boy I never had to, to do this but I'm going to attempt to heat this very slightly to try and get it to straighten up. I'm not sure what heat's going to do to my paint, but let's give it a shot. I'll put, I'm going to have it on the low setting, low and high, so I'll have it on low. I don't want to get melted. I just, that's my fear. I'll melt the whole, melt the whole thing. Still a little bit on one side. It's still, it's still up. And over here, actually, I mashed it too far in the center. Ah, that's a beat up truck. Maybe the hood flew up on it one time as it was going down the road. Let me try once again with the heat and see what I can do. Okay, so I heated it again. And believe it or not, that looks pretty good. I don't know why the hood was was uh, warped. Not sure. All right, good deal. All right, we'll continue on. All right, well, I've got the body somewhat weathered. Um, how do you like those plug wires sticking straight? It was like an explosion happened rather than the distributor cap wire. So it's like a, maybe some sort of fountain uh, oil. That's what it looks like. It looks like an some sort of oil line ruptured and it's the oil's just spraying out everywhere it looks terrible well, anyway i'll fix that but uh i'll wrap this video up come back next uh hopefully have get the get to work on the interior get it get it detailed but it comes with some pretty decent um pretty decent decals we'll get those got some other parts here on the tree still the radiators and all these things so i'll, I'll get back with uh with another video and hopefully it will be uh, close to being wrapped up. All also, right, guys, here it is. Completed the 1971 Ford F100 made by Moabus Models. I was able to weather this truck to make it look somewhat like the truck that I actually own, the real F100. I'll show you a picture of that. It was a lot of fun building this kit. Um, it's a lot of fun when you get to weather a kit, when you get to take one and make it look old. You don't have to make it look perfect. So I'll just take a few 
few minutes and show you a few things about this. Obviously the rusting, I had my previous video on this truck, showed how I did the effect of rust and how I weathered it. Um, I'll take the camera here now. Let me take a few seconds and show you around the truck. So I took and weathered it, as I was saying. I uh, dirtied it up, rusted it up, tried to make it look as real as possible. My truck actually has a toolbox on the back. I did look for a resin toolbox. Couldn't find one that was in stock. I found some that were not in stock. And anyway, if I do ever get that, I'll, I'll add it to the truck to, just to give it that more realistic look. But this truck was really neat. First Moabis kit I've ever put together. I was able to weather it up, though. Make it look, like I say, as close to, as possible to my old beat-up truck. My truck's really worn out. It's, well, it's a 1971 truck. It's old. But this truck was a lot of fun. The same hubcaps, the same uh, long wheelbase as mine. Um, did, uh, on the previous video also, and I uh, said how the chrome didn't look uh, really good on the kit, so I decided to... Instead of putting the chrome on the side of it like the kit had, I painted the chrome. I added, uh, I just taped it off and I painted the chrome. Uh, it seemed to come out a little bit better to me, personally. Around the windshield, instead of making the the edge of the windshield uh, chrome or, 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 or um, some of the trucks, the, the fancier packages would have had chrome. My truck just has a rubber window seal, so I painted that black. Um, the interior of the truck and I'm not sure how good you're going to be able to see in here but the interior of the truck turned out real well the automatic transmission I think this truck would have had a three speed because it shows a it gives you the it puts a clutch in so the third pedal there's the seats the engine I was able to weather up and I was really satisfied again on the on the film, I'm not sure if you're going to be able. To, it's really going to do justice to see the uh, the weathering, but I was able to get it in. Got the plug wires on. Plug wires turned out great. I made a new distributor. I'll have a little uh, short clip of the engine and weathering. the The camera just doesn't do justice to the to detail. Sometimes I'm not bragging on myself. I'm just I've uh. Well, I redid the distributor. So remember, the distributor was was terrible. It was just uh, the black wires that I had put on it were were sticking up everywhere. That they wouldn't lay down. I tried to get them to, to go into place. They would not. So I went and made a uh, made a new distributor. Um, got the wires run. Uh, black washed the transmission. Um, it's not mounted. It's just sitting on here. Got it black washed, dirty to the oil, you know, oil splatters and and things like that. Just try to make it not look like a little toy. But I have it all together. This truck has a 390. My truck is a, a 351 Windsor, but who cares? It looks good. The truck turned out great. I'll turn it around and let you see the other side in the rear. But yeah, turned out good. Turned out really good. Was able to weather the bottom of the truck as well and dust it up a little. Make it look like it's been driven. Make it look like it's gone down a bunch of roads. Oil leaks. Everything about it. But the truck turned out great. I'm really happy with it. I'm really glad I got to build it. Thank you to my friend David who bought it uh, for me for Christmas. And I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Maybe you learned a little something. Maybe you can weather one up, make it look rusty, make it look worn, battered, beaten, just real. How about that? Well, guys, thanks for watching. And again, I hope you enjoyed the Moabus 1971 Ford Ranger F100 pickup truck build, weathered, beat up, real life. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment. See you next time.